Hey everyone! As you guys probably already know, modern warships have gotten a bit more demanding in graphics, and now my phone can't handle the game the same way as before. It now often heats up very quickly, which causes the FPS to become unstable. I don't know whether you guys noticed it on my videos, but it's there, and it has been a problem for me. So for today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys the solution that I came up with, which is to get a cooler for phones, and the model I chose is the Flydg G B5. First, let's get it out of the box to show you guys what it looks like. At first, I was very anxious about getting this thing because I was afraid that it wouldn't do anything to the performance of my phone, and this thing cost me around $28. I find it a bit expensive, and I'm afraid to waste that amount of money. However, I was finally convinced to take the risk after doing a little bit of research. Here is now the cooler. The design of this thing is awesome, and I really liked it. However, I didn't expect the cooler to be this small, which is a good thing, as it won't get in my way of handling the phone when playing. I expected it to be a bit bigger, because, to me, it kind of looks bigger in the photos and videos I've seen in the reviews, but anyway, I'm glad that it didn't turn out that way. Here are all the things inside the box. There's the user's manual, a long USB Type-C cable, and of course, the cooler. To use the cooler, you obviously have to turn it on first by plugging it into a power source since it doesn't come with a battery, and then, go to your phone and download the FlyDG app. The cooler must connect with this app as the app grants you control over the fans. You can adjust how fast the fan can go, and you can turn on and off the RGB light, but unfortunately, you can't adjust the colors. Let's start testing it to see if it would truly improve the performance of my phone. I'll be using the Game Booster app to further enhance the performance of the game. This app works on and off, but when it does work, it doesn't eliminate the lag, it just minimizes it. The app also gives us the ability to monitor the temperature of the phone, which we'll be using later in the test. First, I'll show you guys how the game runs on my phone with its default graphics settings.
The phone I'm using is the Realme 6. It has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, and it uses MediaTek's Helio G90T as its processor. It isn't the best phone for gaming, and it's supposed to be able to run games smoothly with low and medium graphics, but that's clearly not the case right now. However, it has served me well, as it has helped me reach where I am currently on YouTube, and I'm very happy and proud of it. As you guys saw, my phone can still offer 50 to 40 FPS, but it's only for a short period of time before it drops to 30 FPS and below. As for the temperature of the phone, it went from 33 to 39 degrees Celsius after playing, which isn't too bad, but it's clear that there is an increase in temperature, and it's affecting the stability of the FPS. Now, I will show you guys how the game runs with the cooler. Also, the graphics of the game will be the same as before.
With the cooler on, I immediately saw the difference in the performance of my phone after playing the game. Everything is much smoother than before, and my phone can maintain 50 to 40 FPS. However, it still isn't fully stable because it still drops to 30 FPS. I can't do anything more about it as that's already the best thing that my phone can offer together with the cooler, but at least it's a lot better now because the FPS doesn't drop as often as before. For the next test, I will still be using the cooler, but this time I will enable the post-processing. The post-processing makes the game look awesome and gives more life to the graphics of the game. It looks very cool, but it also greatly reduces the performance of the phone. We'll be enabling this option to see how much performance it will reduce from the phone with the cooler on.
With the post-processing enabled, the phone was able to retain the smoothness and temperature that we saw earlier. The difference is that the frame rate drops to 30 FPS a little more often than before, which is something that I expected, but it still isn't bad, as most of the time the game runs smoothly. Overall, it works, and it's worth it. If you have a phone that is just as good as my phone, try getting this. It might also be able to improve the FPS of the game, or if you have a phone that quickly heats up after playing for a few minutes, then this might be a good solution to that problem. That will be all for today. Hopefully you guys liked this video, and if you all did, please leave a like and subscribe to support me. Thank you so much for watching.